Hello and welcome back to History of Goju-ryu. I'm the Goju-ryu philosopher, and today we're going to be looking into the origins of Goju-ryu and its predecessor, Nahate. The term karate is a fairly recent invention, first used about 100 years ago. However, the martial arts now known as karate have existed for many generations before that. In the Okinawan dialect, these arts were known as todi, meaning tang or Chinese hand techniques. Across the Ryukyu kingdoms and later Okinawa prefecture, different martial artists would teach their own variations on todi, which were commonly distinguished by the name of the city in which they were practiced. During this time, three main cities were known for their martial arts, the capital Shuri, and the two port cities of Tomari and Naha. Their styles were called respectively Shurite, Tomarite, and Nahate. The man credited with founding Nahate is Higaona Kanryo-sensei, though much credit is also given to his teacher Arakaki Seisho. Higaona-sensei began practicing martial arts as a young man, studying a style believed to be derived from monk fist boxing, before traveling to Fuzhou, China, to learn local martial arts in the Fujian province. Though there are several differing accounts, he likely spent upwards of 13 years training with several Fujianese martial artists before returning to Naha. It was while living in Fuzhou that Higaona met and trained under Ryuryu Ko, purportedly a master of Minghe Kuang, or whooping crane boxing. This part of the history is the most commonly disputed, with many sources claiming to have uncovered Ryuryu Ko's true identity. Some claim that his real name was Ji Zhongxiang, but the IOGKF and other historians consider this unlikely, since Ji would have only been a year older than Higaona, despite accounts portraying him as a much older man than his student. Additionally, the style that Higaona brought back bears similarities to other styles than Whooping Crane or its predecessor, White Crane, leading many historians to theorize that he either studied with multiple teachers or that he was incorrect in identifying his master's style. During Higaona's training, it is almost certain that he acquired a copy of the Bubishi, a Chinese text about martial arts, pressure points, history, and herbal medicine. There are actually two books with this title, one of which is a treatise on military technology and strategy that was compiled during the Ming Dynasty. However, the version encountered by Higaona was a shorter text, which tells of the founding of white crane boxing. This version is sometimes called the Bible of Karate, and for those interested in checking it out, there's no better translation than the Patrick McCarthy version. This book would prove fundamental to the development of karate. When he returned to Okinawa, Higaona-sensei began teaching a mix of the arts he had learned, in addition to elements drawn from his previous training with Arakaki, in a style that would later become known as Nahate. In 1905, he began teaching this publicly at the Naha Commercial School. Higaona Kanryo was an accomplished martial artist throughout the rest of his life, and would go on to teach many of karate's most famous names, including Kenwa Mabuni, Kyoda Juhatsu, and Kiga Seiko. In 1902, Higaona would meet and begin to train a young martial artist named Miyagi Chojun. Thank you for watching this episode of History of Goju Ryu. Much of the research from this video comes from books that relate personal accounts, but these accounts are not always accurate, so I've tried to indicate when the information that exists is insufficient. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and feel free to leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to see me cover in this series. If you want to see more of the History of Goju Ryu series when they come out, Subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification icon to be notified when I release new videos. I've been the Goju Ryu Philosopher, and don't forget to practice your Sanchin Kata.